Hello, and we are back. So, last time, we found we needed to get the virus to get into the city, rather than to deal with the uh, AI. Well, not AI. The AI implies it's artificial, the synthetic intelligence. Well, no, it's not even synthetic either. The uploaded intelligence that is running the show. So, what we need to do... So, I'll see if I find a new body for Joey. Unless the game is not going to have us have a new body for Joey until the um, end of the game. The suspicion is what's going to happen at the end of the game is we're going to be given a choice between uploading Joey's personality to the system as a new AI core or having um, our main character upload the AI core uh, upload themselves to the AI core Not so, well, the, the let's plays of this, not so much of the live episodes. Well, that's okay. Silence in court. Security Services Department of Justice Inc. Judge Chutney presiding. Because Court of course is now it is. In session. Silence. I haven't said anything yet. I recognize that villain. An habitual criminal, if ever I saw one. Ah, uh, that's Mr. Greaves, my lord. The counsel for the prosecution. Silence when you speak to me. Now, who is the first okay. contestant? Defendant, my lord. The case of Union Security Services versus Howard Hobbins. Howard Hobbins, come on up. Nice to see you, Howard. You're not nervous, are you? Not really. The defendant is accused of gross contempt and assault of a security officer. Oh, intolerable. What have you got to say for yourself, eh? I've been framed, Your Honour. May I elucidate, my lord? Go on, then, but hurry up about it. Officer Blunt was investigating a complaint made against Hobbins. After questioning the defendant, he was the victim of an assault. Ah, 
monstrous off with his head. You're not nervous. If you... Just a flipping minute. Who's defending me? Defense? Is he entitled to any? I'm afraid so, my lord. Upon my soul, whatever next? Who would be silly enough to defend this wretch? Well, I'm standing right here. Very well. Let's wow, okay, so how am I supposed to... Sorry, so how is this going to play out? Is this going to be a straight up cut buzzers, scene? Everyone. What? I wish to call Officer Blood. Is like a cut? Is it the, is the game show or what? Blood. Guy, Kosh. Please tell the court what happened. Oh, I was assaulted. And is the culprit present in the court? Oh, that's him in the overalls. I rest my case, my lord. Um, good. Where's my black cap? Uh, we haven't heard the defense, my lord. Uh, is it really necessary? Oh, go on. Just don't take all day. Now then, Officer Blunt. What was the nature of your injuries? I got very wet. But you didn't suffer any physical harm. I could have caught a nasty cold. Tell the court how you got wet. <clears throat> While patrolling on Bellevue, I was saturated by a sudden shower. Oh, that's the guard who got you ascertain wet its when I, when the dog oh, got yes. dumped. I in heard the water. laughter from the walkway above. That would be the factory walkway. Ah, uh -huh. uh, that's right. Who lodged the complaint against Hobbins? Objection, my lord. Defense is contriving to lead the witness. It was a simple question. I wish to establish the seriousness of the complaint made against my client. I shall permit the witness to answer. Uh, However, right. I'm awarding Mr. Greaves five points for a well-timed interruption. So who did lodge the complaint? It was Daniel Piermont. What was Mrs. Piermont's grievance? Cruelty to her pet dog. I interviewed Hobbins on four occasions. But he still hasn't confessed. Ah, uh, so... This is... Okay, so what happens is... I put the treats in the water dog jumped in, he got wet. Did you examine the dog? I tried to. And? The bugger bit me. No further questions, Your Honor. Okay, um, let's call Miss Piermont. I wish to call Mrs. Piermont. Call Mrs. Piermont. Hello, darling. And her lead mo She's got a leak motif. Hello, Robin. Hello, everyone. Silence in court. How would you describe your pet dog? Objection, Your Honor. This is a trial, not a dog show. Objection overruled, Mr. Greaves. I want to get to the bottom of this doggy business. He's an absolute darling, darling. Everyone adores him. But Officer Blunt said it bit him. Oh, that would be the uniform. He was mauled by a troop of scouts when he was a puppy. Had you met Hobbins before this incident? I don't recall ever seeing him. But one takes little notice of mere maintenance men. 
No further questions, Your Honor. I'd like to question the defendant. Alright. Here's your starter for ten. Good, good. An excellent opening gambit. That's the sort of questioning I like to hear. None of this did you or did you not nonsense. Because the judge thinks this is Ten a stupid point game show. To the defense. Did you assault Officer Blunt? Objection, my lord. Why, men, what's wrong? Um, repetition, my lord. Objection overruled. Are you guilty of assault, Howard? Not me. I was fixing one of the cooling pipes, and it burst. So blunt soaking was an accident? Not exactly. Why did the pipe burst? Some joker had cut a power cable and overloaded the steam release in the power station. I wouldn't know anything about that. That's what damaged the cooling pipe. Oh, I see. Did you laugh at Blunt's predicament? Laugh? <laughs> I'd nearly wet me pants. Do you deny assaulting so the dog? So did laugh. Objection, but he looked Lord. on. The question has no bearing on the case. It is my duty to hear every sordid detail. Objection overruled. Well, did you assault the dog? I never touched the brute. Do you know Mrs. Piermont personally? I'd only met her once. She wanted me to flush her overflow pipe. No further questions, Your Honor. Okay, hopefully, Mr. with my gate to 10 points, you may start this may give me the lead now. and get me the win. The facts speak for themselves, my lord. Hobbins is a cruel and callous man with no respect for law and order. I recommend the maximum possible sentence. Which is also the minimum possible Any sentence. Any comments from the defense? I don't believe this is happening. This is total madness. You've all been warped in some way. And I think Link is the cause. That's not... Silence! I've heard quite enough of this nonsense. So it's time for me That's to make my That's not quite the defense I would have wanted to put forward. Howard Hobbins. You won tonight's star prize! What? Seriously? Life imprisonment! At least he's not dead. However, in view of your service to the city, I'm going to reduce your sentence. Two hours community service! That's a pretty big reduction. Caught dismissed. Okay.